here on GoPSUSports.com with Mike Gesicki. Mike, getting prepared for a last go around in Beaver Stadium. What does what does that feel like right now? Um, you know, obviously, you know, you have like a lot of emotions going into the last game. Um, I, I remember when I first got here, uh, first time going to Beaver Stadium was my junior in high school on a visit here for a whiteout game. And now, you know, with last game uh, against Nebraska on Saturday, I'm excited for it. Um, and just kind of, you know, thinking back to all the memories I made here, it's been awesome and excited for one, for one last go around in uh, Beaver Stadium. When you think about that visit, were you with any of your current teammates now? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking back, that was like six years ago, so <laughs> it's, it's, it's tough thinking back to then, but uh, just kind of being in Beaver Stadium and, you know, just the atmosphere and the fans and all that kind of stuff, you know, I'll never forget the first time I was here. You know, when you think about this whole journey that you've been on, what's been kind of the most impactful experience for you? Um, I think just kind of growing as, as a player and as a person, uh, you know, on and off the field. I think that that's been, you know, something that I'm going to take with me, you know, for the rest of my life. And, you know, my time here at Penn State, um, you know, obviously, you know, playing in Beaver Stadium and, you know, how much I've grown, like I said, as a player and, and as a person, uh, those, are something, those are some of the things that, you know, I take the most pride in. When you think about yourself and how you've grown as a leader, what are some of the things that you want to leave behind as kind of your legacy when you're when you're gone at Penn State? Uh, you know, I just want to be remembered as somebody that you know worked hard to you know achieve what they were able to. Um, you know, nothing was ever given to me. Uh, you know, I was able to you know work my tail off each and every day for the past four years to kind of accomplish what I've been able to, and uh, you know just be remembered as you know one of the guys that was you know part of the program that was able to kind of get Penn State back to where it is today. And, uh, you know, just be proud of everything that this team has accomplished in the past four years. You know, earlier today you were named a Mackey Award finalist. Mm -hmm. What does kind of that recognition mean to you? Yeah, it's, you know, it's something that, you know, I've worked for, um, you know, for a long time. It's, you know, been, been a goal of mine, you know, obviously, you know, individually. But, uh, you know, my, the Coach Ronnie's done a great job, you know, assisting me to get there and, you know, just kind of being, being with me every step of the way, you know, dating back to two years ago when he got named the tight end coach. And, you know, all my teammates and, you know, Trace done a great job, you know, building chemistry with myself, you know, on the field and off the field as well. Um, but, you know, ultimately, you know, that's something that I'm proud of. But, uh, you know, excited for, you know, one last game in Beaver Stadium on Saturday and then everything else to take care of itself. You mentioned Coach Ronnie. I've, I've heard you talk a lot about kind of your relationship yeah. with him. How has it grown and what's been maybe one of the, the biggest takeaways that, that you've learned from him since you've been here? Yeah, Coach Ronnie is, you know, hands down, you know, the, the best tight end coach in the country, uh, you know, in every aspect of it. You know, he puts so much time into it, you know, in the film room, and then he's able to translate that, you know, onto the practice field and then ultimately onto the, onto the game field on Saturday. Um, you know, I wouldn't be the player that I am today without Coach Ronnie, so, you know, I'm you know, forever grateful for having him as a tight end coach here. And, uh, you know, just having the relationship that I have with him, you know, it's, you know, forever grown over the past two years. And, uh, you know, like I said, you know, I'm forever grateful for having him as the tight end coach because I know that I wouldn't be, you know, half the player I am today without him. So, you know, I thank him a lot. Now, getting into this week's assignment, obviously, uh, Nebraska coming up. What have you seen kind of from Nebraska right now in terms of your early preparations? Yeah, Nebraska is a very talented football team. You know, they're going to come out and, you know, come out swinging. Uh, you know, obviously, it's our senior day, so, you know, they're going to be excited about that and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, they're a physical football team. Uh, they're a talented football team. Um, but, you know, ultimately, you know, we just got to come out and be able to execute our job and, you know, uh, trust in Coach Moorhead and, you know, him putting us in a position to be successful on Saturday and then just, you know, execute our job and everything else, take care of itself. Sunday, obviously, a time for corrections, but also a time to kind of turn the page to yeah. Nebraska. What were some of the things that you kind of identified that you kind of be able to work on this week in practice and preparation? Yeah, we wanted to, you know, clean up some of the mistakes that were made during the Rutgers game. Uh, you know, we had some different looks, you know, during that game. So we wanted to, you know, clean, clean that kind of stuff up and then, you know, move on to Nebraska and kind of get the game plan settled and all that kind of stuff. And uh, then we'll get out there today on, you know, obviously for our Tuesday practice and kind of get rolling for this week. Well, we look forward to catching up with you on Saturday. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you.